Hello class, I'm going to show you how to complete your Microsoft Office projects. First, you need to make sure that you have the desktop versions downloaded onto your computer before beginning. You're able to download the Microsoft Office programs on up to five devices for free as a JCC student. If you need help with doing that, please refer back to one of the announcements that has a video posted with step-by-step -step instructions. First, you wanna to go to the week where the project is that you wish to complete then you will go down to access the project. I'm going to be showing you project one for Word. You click on the link to open it up in SAM. That will open up in another tab. Once the assignment opens, you'll see the overview here and then you'll also see the details. The details explain that you have three allowed submissions. I've already submitted this project one time, so I have two remaining submissions left. I highly encourage you to take advantage of the three submissions that you are given for each project. You're able to complete your project, turn it in, and then see the results of your project to determine which tasks you have done incorrectly, and then you can fix those and resubmit it. It also gives you a note here that late submission is allowed after the due date for up to one week, but you will receive 2% reduction in your grade per day. So you click start to begin the assignments. It will take you to step one of two. Then you want to download the instruction file, the starting file, and the supporting file. The instruction file, click on it and it will download. It'll either download the bottom of your browser you might have a little window pop up that gives you an option to open it or save it. You want to open it. If you're using a different browser, it might have a, a downloads button up here and you might need to access it that way. You also want to download your starting file. That's your actual project where you'll be making changes to the document and then saving those changes so that you can submit it for a grade. If there's a supporting file for the project, you'll see that here. You want to click on that, but you don't want to open that. You just want to save that for later so that when you reach the point in the project where it tells you that you'll need to use that supporting file, you'll already have it in your downloads folder ready to go. So if you click continue, you'll see this is the submission area. Once you've completed your project and saved all of your tasks, you will click here to upload your project. Okay, so I'm going to click to upload to open my instructions. And I always want to click enable so that you're able to make changes to the document. So the instructions tell you to open the files. That's what we're currently doing. And then they also tell you to save the files with a new file name by changing the one to a two. So you always need to do that on all of your projects. If you don't have the correct file name, when you try to submit it in this area, it will not take the file. So right now I clicked on the starting file so that I can open up that document. This week you're working on a flyer and you're making changes to it so that it will look more appealing. So you have to click enable editing on that as well. You want to go to file, save as. I would recommend having a place on your desktop where you can have your CIS 110 um, assignments. So I created a CIS 110 folder here. And I also created a word subfolder. So once I have the location of where I want to save my file, then I want to click at the end of that file name and backspace so that I just have the underscore and then a two. You do not type in the DOCX, it automatically does that when you save it. Click save. I already have that file saved um, with another one that I had opened. So here's my starting file. Um, if I look at the instructions, I have now opened it. I've saved my file name. I also saved my supporting file as well, and then I'm ready to begin. It tells you that you are creating a flyer to promote an upcoming seminar. Begin by making the following changes to the document theme. So you go through all of these changes step by step. I've already done number one for us, so I will show you what I did. I went to design and then I clicked on theme and I selected office. Then I need to click on the color and change it to red violet. So when you change the theme and the color of the theme, the different fonts and font colors that are available change. 
So if you miss that step, you won't be able to complete other steps along the way. So I can go back to my instructions. I also recommend highlighting the steps as you go so that you know what you've already completed. So I'll do one more with you. Step number two says to change the margins to narrow to fit more content on the page. So I go back to my project and then I would go to layout, margins, and then select narrow. And you'll notice that the space around the page becomes smaller than it was before. As I complete tasks, I also want to save my work um, so that I don't lose anything. If my computer shuts down or something happens, you don't want to have to start over again. There are a couple different ways to work on your project. You could have two computers next to each other um, with one of them having the instructions and the other screen having the project. You can click back and forth like I've been showing you to do and continue to mark off your task as you go. You can also right click on your taskbar and click show windows side by side. Um, and we don't need all these windows open so we can minimize the ones that we don't need. And then I can just go ahead and make the windows that I wanna see bigger and leave them side by side. The last option that you can do, and this just depends on how you like, oops, sorry about that, how you like to work best, you can also print out your instructions and have the paper in front of you as you're working on your project. I like to have two computer screens open um, so that I don't have to keep clicking back and forth and that I can have the full view. Some people like to do this side by side. Um, it's just a personal preference. I just wanted to show you a couple different options that you have available. Um, so you can also save the instructions so that way you save your progress and know where you left off. When you're done with the whole project, you want to make sure that you have the most recent changes saved. Then you will go back to your SAM submittal screen and you will click there to upload your project that you did. Click open and then click submit. When you submit it, you have two options that show up. Resubmit would be if you want to make changes to it and go back to the screen to upload your new file. View report will show you what you got as a grade and what you did right and what you did wrong. So when you click on that, it downloads it just like it did your starting file. And then you see your score is a 16 out of 100 and it shows me that I got number one and two correct. Um, and I got everything else wrong because I didn't do anything else. So then what I want to do is close my report. I want to go back and open up my file that I was working on and I want to continue um, or fix any mistakes that I might have made that showed up on my report. And then I want to save all my changes and then I would go back and resubmit my file again, view the report. So you can do that up to three times and then we will record your highest score that you receive. If you accidentally close the screen, I just want to show you how you can see your report by going straight into SAM by clicking on the SAM link in Blackboard here. Then click on My SAM Grades and it will open up in that same other tab again. SAM only lets you have one window open at a time. So if you wanted to open up a training to reference that you have previously done to see how to do a task that maybe you've forgotten how to do, you can just go ahead and open up Blackboard in another browser. And then you can have your training opened um, so that you can look back at it for any time you need help with a certain task. So you would click on reports once you're in SAM and this will give you all of the assignments that you've completed and then you can see which project you want to see the report for. It also tells you the day and time that you've submitted it. So you want to see the most recent report because that would be the one that you've made um, the most recent changes to. And if you click on report, it downloads the report just like it did from that submittal screen. And you can open it up to see your grade and see what you've done wrong. So I just want to show you your training. Um, if you get to a task on your project and you get stuck and you don't know how to do it, I recommend you just go back into that week, click on your training, 
to reopen it, even though you've already completed your training and submitted it, you can still access it. And what you can do is you can click on the taskbar in the upper left corner and it shows you a list of all the different tasks that the training has and you can see which one um, each task is. So then you can select the one you need help with and you can rewatch just that task. So you don't have to do the whole training again if you need to reference anything, but you can just rewatch a certain task. So you click on this task list and then you can look through. So let's say if you didn't know how to do number two, you can click on change the margins and then you can rewatch how to do that task. And then you'd be able to go back to your project so that you can complete it there.